Warning, this video discusses inappropriate themes for those under the age of 18. Cinderella, Rapunzel and Beauty and the Beast, three of the most famous stories among over 200 written by the Brothers Grimm. All of each have numerous versions of, but the most notable were most likely by these two brothers, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. The brothers were just over a year apart, Jacob born as Jacob Ludwig Karl Grimm, January 1785, and Wilhelm as Wilhelm Karl Grimm, in February 1786. They were raised in Hanau, which is in modern-day Hesse, in Germany, before moving to Steinau in 1781, in a family of nine. Initially receiving home education from private tutors, they were instructed to be Lutherans and later attended local schools. The family lived a fairly comfortable life until their father Philip unfortunately died of pneumonia, which forced them into poverty. Their mother, Dorothea, depended on her father's financial aid and Jacob and Wilhelm, being the eldest, assumed adult responsibilities. In 1798, they left Steinau to attend Friedrichs Gymnasium, which specialised in music and foreign languages. They had to rely on each other, which led to a very close bond, despite having different temperaments. Jacob was an introvert, and Wilhelm was the exact opposite, despite suffering from ill health. After graduating, they attended the University of Marburg, but were disqualified due to their lower status. Both brothers were inspired by Friedrich von Savigny, of whom Jacob got to meet in Paris to help him with his literary work. It was there that he strengthened his love for Middle Ages literature. In 1806 he was hired in the War Office and later became court librarian to the King of Westphalia, and later transferred to a library in Kassel. Two years after his first job, his mother died which left him financially responsible for his younger siblings. Wilhelm didn't get his first job until 1814 due to ill health, but was hired as a secretary at a royal library in Castle, the same as Jacob. Although Wilhelm was hired first, Jacob was only hired in 1816. Despite both of them wanting to follow the footsteps of their father and have a career in law, they had given up on that idea. From then on, they dedicated themselves to literary research. Before writing their versions of classical fairy tales that they became famous for, they collected folk songs and tales for friends and examined them in critical essays. Eventually, they published the first edition of Kinderund Haus Marschen in 1812, which included stories such as Snow White, The Little Red Riding Hood and Rumpelstiltskin. Initially, these stories were not aimed for children like they are today, conveying the soul and beliefs of people through the centuries. The stories often included sex, violence and incest. They weren't like other romantics of their time who would write extravagant fantasies. Not only did they reimagine German folklore, but those of Danish, Irish and Norse origin. In 1825, Wilhelm married a long-time family friend of the name Henriette Dorothea Wilde, whilst Jacob never married. The three of them moved to Göttingen, where they were hired as professors at the University of Göttingen. Five years later, they faced deportation and bankruptcy. They refused to pledge allegiance to King Ernest Augustus and were made to leave the city. As a result, they had to borrow money from friends. They then moved to Berlin, where von Savigny appealed to Frederick William VI of Prussia for them, and they were offered positions at the University of Berlin. Alongside this, they were allowed to continue their research, invested by the Academy of Science. Between 1848 and 1849, Germany had a number of revolutions, which led to the brothers being elected to civil parliament. However, this, these positions were short-lived as their hope for a unified Germany started to wane. 
Alongside the translation of folk tales with his brother, Jacob also studied philology when he presented the natural laws of sound in various languages. This led to Grimm's Law. I would explain it, but I don't really understand, so you'll have to Google it yourself, I'm afraid. In 1834, he started writing a dictionary of the German language and published it in 1854, so 20 years later. He resigned from his position at the university in the late 1840s and published the history of the German language. Wilhelm's illnesses left him weak and became rather confined, but kept a close relationship with his brother. English philologist and author Richard Cleesby remarked that they both live in the same house and in such harmony and community that one might almost imagine the children were common property. He began researching medieval literature and editing new editions on House Martian. Wilhelm was the first to die, aged 79, on the 16th of December 1859 of an infection. After being deeply upset at Wilhelm's death, Jacob passed four years later. By this time, there were 211 stories in Hausmarschen, 200 folk tales and 11 legends.